Hey guys, and welcome back to another Fake Card Friday. So, last week you looked at a stupid card, so now let's look at a serious card. So, this card is a uh, Cyber Dragon Fusion, another one, and I got, oh great, so another Cyber Dragon Fusion, and that's totally what we need. Is another, 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 another one. <laughs> but this is Ultimate Chimera Tech Bahamut V100. It is a dark... Looks like level 12, is that level 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yep, level 12. Uh, machine fusion with 5,000 attack and 5,000 defense, it's, it's pretty much like the the FGD or the five-headed dragon or whatever the hell it is of cyber dragons. So it's fused with five cyber dragon monsters and of course, you know, with their new support and their cyber dragons and stuff. They're treated as cyber dragons while in the field in the graveyard, and it is dark, so you know exactly what you can go ahead and do. You can go ahead and overload fusion right into this guy if you have five cyber dragon monsters in your graveyard. So, his effect is, this card cannot attack a turn it is summoned. Alright, so, makes it a little bit less broken. You can't just drop this and then freaking attack and drop a limiter removal and just GG. Because <laughs> that would just suck. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, you can't attack the turn that summon. When this card is supposed to summon, destroy all cards on the field except this one. Alright, so, you wipe everything on the field. All the cards except for this card. Uh, negate the effects of any monster that battles with this card. Alright, so, you know, you ram into something, their effects are pretty much negated. So, you even continue the effects are negated till what, the end of the damage step? That's pretty powerful. So, you'll be running over you bell. One one wouldn't be able to detach. You just you just be wrecking things. You just be wrecking. This card battles with an XC monster. Destroy it without applying a uh, damage calculation. All right, so yeah, never mind about that one one. I guess you would just destroy it automatically. Well, I guess you would have to destroy it twice, right? Because it would attack and you you would destroy it without applying damage calculation. So you'd rip off one of the attachments, but then of course you negate the effect of any monster that battles with it. So I guess you would just destroy it automatically. Ah, oh, interesting. And just to top it off and put the cherry on top of this giant monster, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. It's 5,000 attack and 5,000 D. Who the hell is ever going to destroy this thing by battle? Ever. God. I, I think 5,000 attack, I think that's actually the highest attack that you, you can get in Yu-Gi-Oh! Naturally. So, who the hell is ever going to be, you know, running that over? I guess. I guess. <laughs> so, uh, let's go ahead and read what people are saying. So, uh, uh, people are saying it's, nah, it's not an immediate win condition. You know, you can't just summon this and then go for game. Of course, you can't attack. Uh, the five restriction is pretty good, but with overload fusion, that also makes it good. So, you know, it makes in overload fusion a little bit more interesting. And besides, what, Chimera Tech Over Dragon? Uh, it, yeah, it does not have protection outside of battle, so, you know, you can just go ahead and drop this thing and then just get immediately bombless trap hold. And what does it say? This card is special summoned. Alright, well, it would still wipe everything, so you can still respond, so, you know, you can go ahead and just summon this, and then it would be summoned, so you bottomless it, but you should, everything's still going to get destroyed on the field. And, uh, if you're warning it, then, well, you, I, you can't warning it. You would have to warning the card that's summoning it. You can't warning the summon of it, so, yeah. And, uh, it's actually just a pretty decent card, you know. It's not too broke yet, it's not too, uh, balanced. And, uh, you know, if Konami decided to give Cyber Dragons this card, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised, you know. But, you know, of course, now since their Cyber Dragon uh, days are over, I guess they'll never see the light of day with this card unless they want to bring it back again. But, you know, if all of a sudden in a new pack this card was in there for Cyber Dragons, I wouldn't be flabbergasted. I'd just be like, okay, they get a new card. And it's pretty decent. So tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. So thank you guys for watching another episode of Fake Card Friday. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys next Friday with another card. Thanks for watching.